scandal. Who is the number two hero's baby daddy? By Butterfly Apocalypse on AO3. Episode 8, Chapter 1. Now, normally, paternity tests might take a few days to process. However, on the account of it being a paternity test for the number two and number one heroes, and no shortage of glares on the part of Endeavor, some strings were pulled, and they were assured results in a matter of hours. Honestly, Hawks would have been happy to let the mystery simmer for the public for a few days. May come up with some stories. Make it a whole thing of it. In reality, he knew Dobby was going to have some issues with a capital I, but the idea of Endeavor taking credit on his baby. So the Endeavor is the baby daddy pitch was doomed from the get-go. He eyed the bag of tabloids and papers Endeavor had at his feet. Maybe he could get some souvenirs out of it, though. So, he started. You gonna keep those? Keep what? Endeavor grunted. The magazines, Hawk said. You know, commemorate your first big scandal as the number one? His brows furrowed. I'm not sure I like what you're implying by saying first big scandal. You're not planning anything, are you? Hawk scoffed. <laughs> Me? Plan? I have never done that in my life. I'm a wing it sort of guy. Gotta go fast, gotta go fast, gotta go faster, 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 faster. What are you saying? Endeavor interjected. Hawks ignored him. If Endeavor didn't get his Sonic's X reference, then it wasn't Hawks' fault he didn't have taste. If something slips out that ruins your reputation, it will be entirely unplanned on my part. Hawks promised. That's not reassuring. Endeavor murmured. Hawks continued this. Huh, you're right. Well, I don't want to be the number one hero. That was too much work, so I promise not to cause a scandal that would hurt your ranking without hurting mine as well. Right, Endeavor said. To answer your question, no, I was planning to incinerate these. He kicked the bag of magazines. Hawks gasped. No, I'll take them. What are you going to do with them? Endeavor narrowed his eyes suspiciously. Cherish them? Hawk said, intensely. I'll make a scrapbook. I don't know. Don't burn them, though. That's bad for the environment. Would be a shame if a number one hero was exposed for not caring about the environment. I bet All Might cares about the envir- He was caught off by Endeavor, shoving the bag into his lap. Victory. Careful, don't wake the baby. Hi, Sarah had- behaved violently for the DNA test, and as soon as Hawks had scooped him back into the slink, I decided it was nap time part two. Electrical boohoo. Hawks eagerly investigated his spoils. Number one hero gives zero. Burning romance. Wing hero and flame hero's love child. Birdie Twinkie, homewrecker, ruins number one hero's marriage. Can't hide it forever. Baby exposes love affair between top two heroes. There was nothing, nothing like a good tabloid headline to brighten his spirits. Birdie Twinkie Homewrecker? If he ever did become a villain for realistics, that would be his villain name. Maybe, maybe he could change his hero name to the Bird Twinkie. But with Omelette asleep, he could fully immerse himself into the juicy details people came up with for his endeavors hypothetical sex life? We have the results. Hawks hadn't noticed a doctor's return to the waiting area, and was startled when he spoke. And? And ever prompted. The doctor made the strangest expression. Hawks wasn't sure how to take that. I think... He began. You should follow me to discuss the results. Hawks followed curiously, with a smirk. He wondered if maybe the doctor was up on the drama and thought it would come to a surprise to them that Endeavor wasn't the father. Should he make a whole scene about it? No, the doctor had to oblige by patient confidentiality, so it's not like it would go anywhere. But it would still be fun. Hawks mentally began to prepare his best innocent shocked face. The doctor led them to a small consultation room, 
with a table and chairs that looked should be comfortable, but somehow were even worse than the plastic waiting chairs. Seriously, it was like someone blew the chair's budget on appearance and had no money left to make them comfortable. Hawks's ass did not deserve this kind of treatment. He briefly entertained the idea of popping into Endeavor's lap, but ultimately decided he didn't want to put Omelette in the line of fire. Gentlemen, the doctor said, after clearing his throat. He squared a stack of papers against the table. I have here the results of the paternity test to determine if Endeavor is the father of Hysera. Endeavor nodded curtly. Exactly. I am interested in the part that conclusively proves that I am not the father. Is there a way to explain or present them that can be published and make it clear? The doctor held up a hand to cut him off. Well, that's just it, sir. He trailed off, uncertain. What? Endeavor said. Is there something wrong with the results? We can redo the test if that's necessary. The doctor shook his head. No, no, the results are... conclusive. Then what's the issue? Endeavor raised his voice. Hawk shushed him, covering Hysera's ears. Don't wake him up, he hissed. Sorry, Endeavor said, much quieter. He took a breath. Please, what is the issue? As I said, I really just need the negative to... It's positive. The doctor blurred out. It's what? Endeavor roared, only slightly quieter than Hawks's simultaneous shriek of what? It's a fluke. Endeavor exclaimed. There's no way it's... Is this a prank? This is verily poor tape. It can't be positive. Hawks protested. Isura started squirming against his chest letting out a few prematurely hiccup cries. He absently patted his back to calm him down, despite feeling anything but calm himself. That... that's not possible. Explain. Now. Endeavor demanded. The doctor nodded quickly. Yes, sir. Positive is not an entirely accurate thing to say. Then what is? Endeavor asked. Please, sir, I'm trying to explain. The poor doctor was looking distressed. Endeavor slumped back in his seat. Right, I apologize. Go on then. The genetic makeup is not close enough that we can conclude that Endeavor is the father. So in that sense, sir, it is negative. Hawks breathed out a sigh of relief. All was right with the universe again. If he was going to have a baby with Endeavor, he wanted to remember that. However, and this is where the results get complicated, the results do show a significant genetic similarly. We can, with some certainly, conclude a direct familiar relationship between Hysera and Endeavor. Specifically, this genetic similarity is consistent of what we'd expect from... He paused. For a sense, or to brace himself, Hawks couldn't tell. From? Hawks' voice was a squeak. Endeavor was related to Hysera? How? Well... The doctor said, from a grandparent. A grandparent. A grandparent? Endeavor was Hysera's grandfather? How? How? Hawks turned to Endeavor in shock. Are, are you my dad? What? No. Endeavor shook his head frantically. That can't be, that. He trailed off, brows furled in deep concentration. Hawks, likewise, looked around in confusion. It was ridiculous to think Endeavor was his father. That didn't make any sense at all. And also, Hawks definitely, definitely, definitely did not want to have to consider the frankness of what that would mean. For sure, he called Endeavor daddy all the time, but like, he didn't want him to be his father. So that meant, that meant Endeavor was Dobby's father? Endeavor was Dobby's father. Not like that one scene in Tangled where Rapunzel remembers she's the lost princess and everything falls into place. Everything made sense. Endeavor was Dobby's father. The flame quirk, the eyes, Dobby's personal grudge, everything. Oh my god, Hawk said. Oh my god. The doctor watched this go down in mild concentration. So I can, uh, just... 
give you the copies of the results, destroy them, and ever order. Get rid of them. This never happened. I... If you excuse me, I need to have a talk with my children. He stood up jerkily and made a swift exit. The doctor turned to Hawks. I need your consent as well if you want these destroyed. No way in hell. Give them here. Hawks reached out for the papers. Dobby was Endeavor's son. Huh. Unfortunately, Endeavor left it in the car they came in. Well, his... Hawk said. Shall we play home? Alright. It came out, like I told you. In DNA tests, they don't test if the person is their, you know, the, their parent. It is a test of, what's it called? Uh, genetic slim, uh, similarity, right? Therefore, if someone was to be the grandfather or the aunt, that would come out. Like, be like, hey, this is consistent of what a grandfather would be, or uh, an aunt would be, or, you know, like, the consistency and stuff like that, or, like, a sibling, right? That comes out, right? So it's less of a paternity test, like, oh, are you the father? And it's more of, are you related, period, right? From there, yeah, we could figure out if you're, like, the father, grandfather, not at all related, stuff like that, right? So it coming out as Endeavor being <laughs> the grandfather is very much, yeah. Also... It's found out. Let's go. I can't wait to have the conversation of uh, Hawks having the conversation with Dobby. Uh, also, <laughs> are we going to see Endeavor have a conversation with his children and be like, okay, it's not you. It's not you. It's not you. It's who is, who is it? It has to be one of you. One of you is lying. And then it comes out like, hey, so it's your dead child. You know, the one you thought was dead. Yeah, that one. You know, <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. That one. No, yeah, that, that one. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And I'm gonna be here for it. I'm gonna be here for it. I'm gonna love it. Um, I went I went shopping today at the mall uh, to go get a bunch of work clothes. I have like six pair of work pants and six pair of work shirts now, and then a work belt and work shoes. Although my mom keeps complaining because she's like, they don't look like work shoes. I'm like, no, these are work shoes. But this looks like it was made for gothic people who are forced to dress professionally, but still want to be a little gothic, right? Because it's leather work shoes with like this silver clasp on it. And it looks super fucking cool. And honestly, I could wear those with gothic clothing and it still goes. I mean, most of the things I got, I can disguise it as gothic clothing later down the line and just style it differently or make it alt like and stuff like that for the most part. Uh, I mainly did that because like I'm gonna get clothes right for the most part I'm probably only gonna use that clothes for work except one shirt I really love that fucking shirt and I'm using it for other situations as well because fuck that shit I like that shirt um but yeah I got, I got a bunch of work clothes I'm excited about that I'm excited about work I finally got my full schedule this week so I'm fully integrated and I'm getting schedules and stuff like that and it's not just like being told a day before or the day of that I'm working. I have a whole schedule and I love that. I love that. I love that I have a schedule. Set schedule, I could tell. I think there's only one time where I'm gonna have to go out like 40 minutes to work because my location of work changes um, depending on where, what, what store I'm gonna be at. Uh, again, I do sales, but no, yeah, I'm super excited to be earning a lot of money, you know? Uh, and depending on how well that goes and how good I could fix out my schedule, considering that technically speaking, I only work five days this week. So there's two days where I have like completely off. And for the most part, it's like five hour shifts. So it's not like it takes up my whole time. Like, I think there's only days where I work like six, seven hours and that's not even that much, right? These are like five hour shifts, you know, five hour shifts are not that bad. I'm actually really interested in those and I really, I really like it. It gives me the opportunity to sit here and do this while also earning a lot of fucking money, right? Um, on the sidelines and stuff like that. And if this continues, I might have, you know, um, more time to dedicate in YouTube and stuff like that, right? Because, you know, I've been trying to keep it lenient so that when I start working, I could, you know, hold up with the uh, work. And considering that I'm having more time of like, you know, days that I'm, you know, uh, already like scheduled posts uh once i get that to two weeks or a week probably two weeks i'll do it to two weeks once i get that to two weeks i'm gonna start adding uh series like i want to one day be posting six videos a day now before you guys come at me six videos a day is only two hours of recording that is not that fucking much six hours of recording is not that bad and yeah sure it would be six videos that are like 15 10 
max 20 minutes, right? It wouldn't be long fucking videos, but it would be six different series for six different people or for one person who likes all six series, whatever point again is. I, I'm just working to, 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 to get my Verizons out. And I also want to uh, stream a lot more just so it's just me and you guys talking, whether I'm in cosplay or not, stuff like that. I just, I just want to uh, expand my Verizons and stuff like that. I think streaming is definitely something I'm going to do this side on a regular basis. So I'm excited for that. I hope you guys are excited for that too. So as always, my rain drops, make sure to eat, sleep, drink water, take your meds. Have a wonderful day or night. Link to my Discord server and socials are down in the description. Subscribe to see more of my content. And thank you so much for watching.